Hi guys, this is Emily Sosha from emilysosha.com and I am coming on uh, a little bit earlier than I normally do on Sundays. My schedule is uh, all jumbled up today, so I figured I have an hour and I might as well pop on. Not sure how many people will be on with me, but I will uh, give you all my information and uh, then leave it here. So um, I am jumping on today because I want to talk about letting go, uh, which has been something that has been super prevalent for me recently and I have seen the power of letting go and so I want to share some of the stuff that I've been thinking about and marinating on more recently. Uh, before I do that, I also want to announce my group again. So I am calling it The Purpose Project. And Nicole, hey, how are you? Um, so I am calling it The Purpose Project and my goal is for it to be unlike any other group that is out there because to be completely honest, I'm in a bunch of groups and um, they get a little bit old every once in a while or maybe like a lot of the time. Um, so I really wanna draw on all of my background which is health and fitness and hi, um, health and fitness and yoga and now with all of this coaching stuff of really adding in the aspect of mindset and where your brain is at, where your mind is at, in addition to also what you're doing with your body and um, putting into your body in terms of food. So I plan to run challenges, um, do all sorts of cool live streams, like I'm even thinking maybe going live and teaching in the group yoga, teaching yoga in the group. Um, so yeah, head on over there and say hello, and then um, I will get everything started off in there. So I will leave the link um, after the live stream. So. Today I want to talk about letting go. Um, so recently it's come to my attention and I'm realizing that sometimes um, we, I, get super, super attached to outcomes, to maybe things that I have set up for myself or um, plan to do or that I want to go a certain way which is awesome, right? Having goals and um, having things that you're working towards or that you want to achieve is amazing and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But when you become super, super attached to the outcome is when issues start to come up and maybe you don't actually get the kind of outcome that you were hoping for or that you were planning for. Um, and so really it becomes almost like debilitating in a lot of ways because you're hoping and wishing and usually working, usually taking action to make this thing happen and then it doesn't. And it's actually because of all of that effort and hoping and wishing. And so I was thinking about it and it's really like when you, you know when you go to pull your seatbelt out too fast and it gets jammed and so it doesn't actually like come any further and you have to go back and let it go back in and then you can reach across and put the seatbelt all the way across. It is exactly like that. When we are hoping and wishing and trying and doing and like hanging on with all of our might, we are stopping the seatbelt from coming across, right? And so you're actually hindering your goal because that energy of almost like angst really, or maybe anxiety, or maybe just a need to be is getting in the way and is keeping that seatbelt stuck way back up here instead of allowing you to be able to draw it across your body. The other thing that comes to mind is blowing up a balloon. So you can blow up a balloon, blow up a balloon, blow up a balloon, right? And eventually it's fully blown. It's completely inflated, right? And there's no more room for air. In fact, if you put in more air, um, it would explode, right? Eventually the balloon would just pop. And so it's kind of the same thing. In fact, it's almost exactly like the same thing, right? You can put all your effort into this one thing that you're hoping for, or maybe multiple things that you're hoping for, and push and push and push and push and push. And, push. and then eventually, the thing just crumbles, right? Or doesn't actually happen because you've put too much into it. Um, and so what happens when you let a little bit of air out of the balloon is now there's more room and now you can kind of ebb and flow and push and go forward a little bit more or back off or choose what you want to do, right, going forward. 
So those are my kind of like non-realistic examples. Um, but I want to tell you about what has been happening for me, um, in my business recently. So I'm setting goals for myself and have things that I want to accomplish or do or, um, get into the works constantly. Um, I keep little notepads everywhere with me because I just have ideas all the time. So needless to say, recently I had been hoping and wishing and wanting, um, certain things to take place in my business and taking action on them and trying to make them happen and nothing was really happening. And it was like, what is going on here? I am literally dedicating all of my like remaining effort onto, you know, what I've dedicated for this project, um, into this space and it's not happening. So what is going on? Um, and Basically, I was just kind of stuck. I was at a standstill and didn't really know what to do and knew that I could take more action, but it didn't, it wasn't feeling good. It wasn't feeling really aligned or really powerful or really creative. And I, um, a while ago, I made a dedication to myself that I would only work in that space of feeling alive and aligned and dedicated and creative and um, like I wanted to do something. So I just was feeling stuck. And, um, I was watching a live stream from one of my mentors, my coaches, and, um, she mentioned something about letting go of letting the timing of things kind of take their own path. And when she said that it just clicked, it was like instantaneous. Um, and I realized that that was my problem was that I was holding on too much. Um, which is fascinating because just as a little side note, there was a period of time, a period of my life where, um, I didn't want to set any goals because for two reasons, one, I wasn't confident enough in myself that they would actually come true, that I would be able to follow through and bring them to fruition. Um, and two, I wasn't confident, confident enough in my ability to handle what would happen if I couldn't bring them to fruition, because I don't believe that you need to achieve every single goal that you set, um, a lot of times, in fact, most times, it's the journey, it's what happens on your way to the goal that is actually more important than actually achieving the goal, even though achieving the goal is cool too. Um, but needless to say, I didn't think before I would have been able to handle the other side of not achieving my goal. Um, and so I never set any goals for myself. I didn't really, I felt like I was just kind of like floating through life, listening to what I thought other people thought that I should do with my life. Um, things are 180 degrees different. So completely on the other side. And I set goals for myself all the time. And, um, but that being said, I'm, I had, I realized that I had moved onto the other side of that. So just as I wasn't able to set goals before, because I was so fearful of what would happen now with the setting goals, I was holding on to them and it was almost like the exact same thing. So instead of being just, I didn't care. Now I was caring too much, which is essentially the same thing, just on opposite sides of the spectrum, which is fascinating. And, um, I could probably talk all about that, but I won't. So I'll just leave it at that is that I was basically doing the same thing is hanging on to this outcome of, I needed things to be a certain way. I set this goal. I said that it was going to happen and it needs to happen when in reality, um, life doesn't work that way, right? Especially if you feel as if you are connected to this higher source or higher power, whatever you might call it, um, they have other plans for you and it's fun to play along, right? In, um, Gabrielle Bernstein's newest book, the universe has your back. She talks a lot about co-creating with the universe, which I am in love with. I love those words. You are co-creating with whoever you believe your higher power is, right? Um, I don't, you know, I'm not going to go into religious anything, but just that you, what you have planned and what they have planned may be different and to be open to allowing the timing to come into your life and your space when it needs to. So that was my realization was that I was holding on way too long or way too long, way too hard, way too much. Um, and so what did I do about that? I meditated. <laughs> um, it sounds really simple because it is, I literally got quiet. Um, I sat down, I like to do it against a wall. So I like to push myself up against a wall. So I feel like the support of the wall behind me 
and I just breathed and I focused on my exhales, really, really letting go of that breath, of everything that I was holding on to. I also started incorporating um, a new mantra, and that is that I release my attachment to the outcome. So I release my attachment to the outcome. And I will tell you that when I said that to myself and I took those breaths, it was amazing. It, I felt literally like a different person and it was so unbelievably powerful. So I felt better in the moment, but here's the cool part. So I felt better in the moment. I felt much better the rest of the day, just like flowed. I got a bunch of other things done that weren't, that weren't related to that specific thing that I was focusing on. Um, and I was able to finish the day feeling like I was productive and got stuff done and you know, everything kind of flowed after that. The day after I did that meditation, um, two new opportunities, completely unexpected, completely out of the blue, wasn't planning for them at all, um, but it was something that I had been thinking about for a while, um, but not really taking any action on. It was just kind of there in the back of my head. Um, two new opportunities came through the door, and um, that's amazing. That's so cool, right? So not only did I feel better in the moment when I um, took those deeper let go breaths and um, allowed myself to feel and say that mantra, but then uh, the universe responded and the energy shifted and I was able to accept and bring in and welcome and be open to those new experiences, which like I said, totally unexpected. That was not what I was focusing on. Um, so that is really my, my goal, my story to tell you today is um, to challenge yourself, to ask yourself maybe where you are holding on to something. It could be physical in nature. Maybe you need to like physically stretch your body um, or maybe it's more emotional or tied to like the outcome of a goal like I was so, um, so desperately hanging on to. So, Basically, setting goals is awesome. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. But when you become so attached to the outcome that it becomes a hindrance, like your seatbelt, right? It pulls so hard on the seatbelt that now the seatbelt doesn't come out of its little socket, of its entryway. Same thing, right? And so where can you let go, back off, release um, some of that energy, some of that like uh, need to have it be a certain way? So that's really all I wanted to share today. Um, I hope that you got something out of it. And if you're watching the replay, which probably most of you are because I don't see too many people on today because it's in the middle of the Sunday. Um, yeah, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And um, I will leave the link of the group underneath. I would love for you to come and join me. Um, I pinky swear. It will not be spammy or nasty or anything like that. I just, I want it to be a cool, fun, open space for people to have a conversation about uh, health and wellness, basically all aspects of it. So not just the fitness part of it. Cool. All right. I hope everyone has a lovely rest of their weekend and um, I'll talk to y'all soon.